let me start with vector and kinematics the first chapter is vector and kinematics and it is offering very interesting thing that we have to understand what is the algebra of vectors very good okay i mean i'm zooming in first of all it is not a nice idea to just zoom out like we have to multiply the vectors we know from our 12th study now base vectors what is this base vector oh my god so position vector and displacement very good hang on a second we have to study velocity and acceleration oh in this advanced space what is this velocity and acceleration we know it is v and we know it is a what is this here no let's see we will see around oh my god velocity and acceleration it is a simple topic i think former solution of kinematical equation like s is equal to ut plus half at squared अरे मैंने क्या कर दिया ये है ना एस इज इक्वल टू यू टी प्लस हाफ एटी स्क्वायर वी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू यू स्क्वायर प्लस टू एस एंड और क्या वी इज इक्वल टू यू प्लस एटी तो इसमें है क्या फॉर्मल सॉल्यूशन ऑफ कैनमेटिकल इक्वेशन अच्छा तुम्हारे पास क्या जरा देखिए मुझे ठीक है इसके बारे में भी हम बात करेंगे एंड मोर अबाउट टाइम डेरेवेटिव ऑफ वैक्टर्स हैंग ऑन अ सेकेंड हैंग ऑन अ सेकेंड इफ आई गॉट अ पोजिशन एंड आई डू दाइम डेरेवेटिव ऑफ दैट नंबर और दैट वैक्टर देन आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू दिलोस इफ आई डू दिलोसिटी derivative with time i am going to get something like what it is acceleration yeah so what is this what is this they are going to teach about this book oh, oh my god motion in plane polar coordinates what the hell is plane polar coordinate i don't know maybe now next thing is note 1.1 approximation method what is this what is this nonsense approximation method ah oh, we will going to see learn i think maybe something will be amazing tyler series what is this tyler series ha huh? Series expansion of some common functions. God damn it! What is the functions? What are the functions? I don't understand anything about some functions. Is this the sine, cos, or functions, or logarithm is a function? Maybe I don't know. Let's see. Maybe it will differentials. Okay, who know? Who doesn't know about differentials? Yeah, it is a very nice thing. Okay, fine. We will see about it. Okay, we will nail it. Okay. Significant figures and experimental uncertainty. Mm, significant figures and experimental uncertainty. What is this? What is this, man? Significant figures. It is something. Significant figures. Nothing here. Two point one, two point two, two point three. And experimental uncertainty. Uncertainty. I have heard in quantum mechanics. Then why in classical mechanics there is a role of uncertainty? I don't know. These guys are really mad. They are crazy. They can implement anything. Okay. Now after this whole thing, we will learn about something in Newton's law. Damn it, Newton's law, isn't it? We are so. No, first of all, you have told me that we are going to study some advanced feature of classical mechanics. Now, what is this Newton's law? I know it. It, it has three laws, huh? Uh, three laws like you know what the uh, first law gives you the inertia, second law gives you the what is F is m a, and third law is giving you nothing. But you know, if you give some forces and it will give you again, it has some reaction. X and has opposite reaction. What is this? Okay, let's see. Newton mechanics and modern physics. What the hell? Modern physics has different thing. You know, in modern physics, what I understand is atomic physics, nuclear physics. So what is this? Newton mechanics with modern physics. Nothing else. Because in modern physics, we are dealing with E is equal to m c square. What is this? I don't know. Newton's law. Okay, fine. Newton's first law, inertia system. That is the same thing. When I can do it. Newton's second law. Second law. Okay, I have already told you. Third law. It has section. <laughs> I mind. You know. You know, fifty one to fifty four. Look at look at this. Three pages describe four. It has taken to describe like Newton's second law. I mean, they are out of mind. Now Newton's law, like it is forty nine to fifty one. The first first one takes two pages to complete to cover just first law. It is just simple, man. Why you are just? Oh my God, these guys are really terrible. I don't know what is this. Now base units and physical units. It is nothing. Base units are what like okay. What is this? ampere? We know seven base units and so on. Our MK system, we know we have done in twelfth. Nothing else. Eleven to eleven is just only about those guys. The algebra of dimensions. Damn it, we have done already. What is the algebra? Nothing else. Applying Newton's law. Yeah, we have done all the monkey problem in SC Verma. We have the waist problem. We have the pseudo force problem. Yeah, we have done a lot. Huh? What is this? Dynamics using polar coordinates. What the hell is this? Dynamics using polar coordinates. Yeah. And again, forces and equation of motion. Hang on a second. You know, here is the force, like Newton's second law. It actually describing the force. And now, in third chapter, we have to learn about forces and equation of motion. Mm -mm, I don't understand it. 
introduction okay the fundamental forces of physics you know we know there are four forces in physics fundamental forces gravity electromagnetism strong force and weak force what is there nothing you know gravity okay fine gravity some phenomenological forces hang on a second what does this phenomenological means i don't have any idea one idea i don't really i don't have any idea our degradation on our degradation on differential equations so what is this viscosity i know some i i have heard about some terms resistance you know now they have uh, used it viscosity so viscosity i think we have solved some problems on you know pendulum kind of problems if your pendulum is inside of water or whereas maybe uh, your electric medium is some kind of a resistive so the pendulum is moving on so on and so on so there is kind of some kind of a, maybe some kind of a mass is attached with spring and it got some friction so it has the viscosity medium so we got some we have to write some Newton's equation yeah i think i have heard about it but i don't have any idea so yeah okay fine it's good hook's law and simple harmonic motion yeah we have them we know this guy hooks okay so we don't tell me about this but i don't know why they have yeah they have used five pages भाई पेजेस क्या सस्ते में आते हैं क्या तो तुमने मतलब कि पांच पेजेस यूज कर डाले पता नहीं यार दी ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स ऑफ स्पेरिकल सेल्फ प्रॉब्लम ये बंदा क्या नोट थ्री पॉइंट वन नोट में ऑब्वियस चल भाई प्रॉब्लम्स प्रॉब्लम्स भी करना पड़ेगा ओ भाई साहब इन चैप्टर फोर मोमेंटम हैंग ऑन है भाई साहब ये क्या कर दिया सबने मोमेंटम मोमेंटम इज पी पी इज इक्वल टू द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ मास टाइम्स विलोसिटी इज यू गिविंग मी मोमेंटम वट इज देयर हाँ देर इज नथिंग एल्स इन मोमेंटम Now what you are going to do? You are going to give me some introduction. Very good. The one page is you are going to suck in introduction. Dynamics of system of particles. What? What is this? Means that you are considering some system of uh, some system where there is a n number of particles and n goes maybe infinity because you know if you got something the atoms and molecules are infinite we cannot count it. So what do you say? You know dynamics of system of particles. So what is relation with momentum? I don't see anything. Now, center of mass has something. Okay, fine. But center of mass, and you are not defining in momentum. I don't see anything because you know in twelve it has some different section. Like we have studied like systems, and momentum is always there. Here part momentum is covered in Newton's physics. So why you are again defining a different section of momentum? I don't have any clue. Center of mass coordinates. It is a child's job. Conservation of momentum. Again, it's a child job. Nothing you have to do. P initial is equal to P final. We have done a lot from class ninth. Impulse and restatement of momentum. Impulse and restatement of momentum. Listen, what is the meaning of restatement? We have this one goddamn statement of momentum, like mass times velocity. And now you want to redefine the momentum. I know something about impulse, but what is this? Is this is this some joke? physics these guys momentum and the flow of mass my god flow of mass and it has some relation with momentum like what flow of mass means what you know uh, in street we always see that these uh, tractor having some kind of a tank filled with water and they are actually speeding up and the water is uh, dropping out from this tank so in some sense the mass of the complete tanker filled with water Actually, changing with time because each time the water is fall, go falling down, so water is releasing from it. So you say that there is a relation between momentum and the flow of mass. My God, <laughs> it's I don't know. Maybe it will be interesting. I don't know. It will rocket motion. Hang on a second. Do you want to become a uh, Elon Musk? Elon Musk has studied everything about rockets, and he become the CEO of SpaceX. I think it's our turn to become a next CEO. My God! Hey guys, do you want to become Elon Musk? If you like it, if you really want to become, here is a part one hundred thirty-eight page number to become a rocket scientist. You know, there was a movie. I think I don't know. I don't remember the name of that movie. There, there was a uh, and the, the student was in class twelve, and in America that time in class twelve we don't have to study like us. Like us, we have lot of burden in class twelve. But in USA, the system is a little bit different, so they will study just like we have studied in class tenth. But this guy is, you know, he was lot motivated with rocket science, and he wanted to, he wanted to send his, he wanted to become an astronaut or astrophysicist. So he planned to become, uh, he planned to just take admission in MIT and Cambridge. 
so what does uh, what did he do that he took a project on rocket that i want to be i want to make rocket okay so i will shoot in this space and I, it will be my, it will be my project and that time nobody was interested in rocketry and so on and he, his father was a coal miner i don't remember maybe you can search what ha what happened is that he discovered this kind of you know what we have done in sc burma class 12 he found that okay what is the projectile what is the projectile motion trajectory what is the initial velocity and how much it will have some ranges and based on this he constructed his rocket and he finally got admission in mit and now he became the uh, you know chief scientist in nasa my god you know at that time my god if i was born in, during 1960s then i could have also become this rocket scientist in nasa and now i have born in 1995 and I'm becoming a YouTuber. <laughs> My God, that is the time phase, you know, in which time you are actually born and in which time you will die. Momentum flow and force, so 143, momentum flow and force. So what is this? Momentum flowing and also having a force. Great. These guys are amazingly great. And momentum flux, 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 flux. I don't know. We have this one thing, electric flux. And now they are interrupting electric flux as momentum flux. So there is no electric flux. Or there is and what is this moment of flux uh, uh, I don't have anything any clue center of mass of two and three dimensional objects center of mass of two and three dimensional object okay so you want to find something two or three dimensional and you want to find the center of mass you want to locate the center of mass of that object Wow this is way up my pay grade I am not getting something from YouTube okay fine you guys you you guys would you want to send me something huh so that you want to lift my pay grade <laughs> okay fine apart from the joke we got something energy ah, so now we are in energy situation okay work power and energy we have done in sc burma so what is this i don't think so they will give you anything so introduction i know integral equations of motion in one dimension hey 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 let me just stop you integrating equations are you hell we somehow managed to do differentiation and now you want to make integrate of some equations is this really a is this really a is this really a nonsense thing happens so you want to kill us with integration so stupid huh so stupid i in my whole life up to up to my uh, college days i really hate integrations you know because you have to construct everything that okay fine this will take some form of integration in class 12 what it what we have done in uh, mathematics we got something like integral of 1 over 1 plus x square dx i know it is 10 inverse x but you know in when we are studying uh, physics we got some rod it can rotate around some axis now you have to find the what is the moment of inertia and to find the moment of inertia, we have to construct what is the length mass, what is the infinitesimal mass, at what distances, what is the dimension, how it is will move, how the distance will change, blah 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 blah, and then it will form some kind of integral formation. Integral form it will take. My God, the thing is that integral integration is not difficult, but we have to work from scratch and then it will take integral form it is kind of a very difficult very 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 difficult job i haven't done in my life when i was up to college i know it is a hell lot of thing and for many guys i'm literally telling you that it is hell work and energy i i was i was you know i was like that I wanted always, I always wanted to, you know, skip that part. Ki, bhai, mere ko integration nahi karna, yaar, ye problems nahi hota. Moment of inertia, yaad kar lunga na. Aray, yaar, yaad karna me ke moment of inertia, agar mera one rod ke aas paas hoga, to ML score by 12 hoga, to badiya rahega na. Aur uske baad agar 20 se ghumega, to kya hoga, ML score by 3. Kaise aayenga, uska derivation kuch aisa hota hai. Bas aisa hota hai, mere ko yaad kar lena hai, khatam ba. Wo sa bhol jau. Aisa tha. But thik hai, koi karna nahi chara tha, ki yaar, ye DL kaise aayega. भगर मचा दी यार लेकिन चलो ठीक है आप क्या करें YouTube में वीडियो बनानी है चमकाना है खुद को तो फिर करना पड़ेगा ही I I love it you know I love this kind of problems now but you know at that time I was it was kind of hell I I really don't like I really didn't like those kind of problems these kind of problems the conservation of mechanical energy why well, it is amazingly simple potential energy 
Huh. How potential you learning NGX? No, wow, everybody knows. But but you know, whenever we are to do potential energy, there is a one fundamental problem: issue of negative. Sometimes we use minus MGX. Sometimes you we use like MGX. And you know, the thing is, when I when I firstly set uh, for IIT J, or maybe you just come across to any neat problem they are going to become a hell because they will give some kind of system and they will ask you that what is the potential energy whose function will it be how does the function will vary my god hell maybe they will put you some kind of a three spheres and they will say that okay fine this is a kind of system and uh, there is a gravitational interaction says that how the potential energy is actually varying if you are inside the sphere and if you are going outside the sphere my god now it is hell you know because why because if you are going to be at in fact if you are going to at infinity obviously it will for it will behave like one over r but if you are have some finite location then all the geometry will include it will behave like something hell okay so i don't want it i never liked it and i could never you know i never did it that is the reality it is hell and for everyone it is a hell what potential energy tells us about force nothing <laughs> what potential energy can tell about force nothing yes this is the answer energy diagrams what is this energy diagrams diagram in classical mechanics we do have diagrams maybe non-conservative forces non-conservative forces ah maybe some hell energy conservation and the ideal gas law conservation laws Conservation laws we know because every force is conserved. What is this? World energy uses. I don't have to go with this correction to periods of pendulum. Hang on a second. If the pendulum a pendulum is having some oscillation, it has periods. Very good. Now there can be some correction in period. Tell me why. Why should I do this correction? Because everything is fine with t is equal to 2 pi square root of L over G. Why do we want to correct? So what do you say? So it is not the square root of L by G. There is some other factors R. We have to see them. My God. So this book is offering something. Force potential and vector operator. What is this? Force potential and vector operator. I have never seen this kind of operators. Like what is this? Are you playing with this? Huh? Are you playing with us? That you are simply say that yeah operator. I don't understand anything. Now topics in dynamics. So so far, okay, there is again angular momentum and fixed axis rotation. Yeah, whatever I have talked about this moment of inertia, it is going to be hell. And there is a lot more. Like in angular momentum, we have angular momentum of particle, very good. Fixed axis rotation, like moment of inertia. Now we have torque. And torque has torque is equal to r cross f. But you know, when you are applying to system, it will become again hell because you have to do again integration. Torque and angular momentum. Okay, we have to study torque in the sense of angular momentum. Great. Dynamics of fixed axis rotation. No, so we have this some fixed axis and the uh, body is rotating. Okay, we can do it. Pendulum motion and fixed axis rotation. What is this? Pendulum motion and fixed axis rotation. So you want to introduce something about moment of gyration? Yeah, maybe. What do you think? Is it true? So if you think that yeah, it is true, then just write write in the comment box. Motion involving translation and rotation. Now you have something rolling and also it is translating. Like a cylinder is rolling from the wedge. So its center of mass is actually sliding. Means it has translation motion and the object is own hole is rotating around the center of mass. My God. Yeah, this is interesting. Yeah, this is completely interesting. Then we have to understand how to apply this mathematics. The work energy theorem and rotation. Yeah, we have done it. Yes, 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 yes. Because you know what uh, our teacher has told that if you apply work energy theorem in any system, no matter how complicated it is, we can boil down to we can boil down to its very simple form. We don't have to do integration, and it will be simple, and we will know everything about the system. I think it will give us some kind of tricks. You think so? Maybe. The Bohr atom. Hang on, hang on a second. The Bohr atom. What is this? Is this modern physics? Or is this quantum physics? In this, is this quantum physics lecture? No, it's classical mechanics. In classical mechanics, where we are not doing quantum mechanics, so why this Bohr atom came? 
why this board atom came because you know in classical mechanics or nay, in quantum mechanics the Bohr introduced that angular momentum is quantized so what is the meaning of Bohr atom doing in classical mechanics where angular momentum is continuous I think they are making us fool or I think they are actually linking classical mechanics with quantum mechanics in this phase hang on a second Chassel's theorem Chassel's theorem what is this I don't have any idea a summary of dynamics fixed action rotation okay fine and heat body motion so there is something like central force non-inertia system so we will talk about it later and 